and and in the menu card you get what you wish to order mm -hmm. same thing suppose if you ask me what is the menu card to control the mind huh? so there is no better menu card than patanjali if you see patanjali you talk about the thing which patanjali is not talking of you can say the psychology of the mind and that is why the patanjali is called as the psychologist great psychologist of the mind management so if you mention anything patanjali is talking whether it is chitta vritti nirodha all options are available in patanjali yoga sutra and that is the beauty of the patanjali yoga sutra and very happy to my pleasure and to introduce ashit ji who is considered as a good philosopher i have heard his some of the got the opportunity to attend some of his sessions during my uh, medical yoga therapy course with nosis and he really talk with the heart not with the language that is the beauty of his connection mm -hmm. eh? and that is why we had a discussion ki when we start this uh, patanjali yoga sutra course for the medical yoga therapy which some of you may be interested so you can contact uh, arita or julie for further this thing so uh, this uh, in this course how to go about it <coughs> so uh, asit ji ask me ki what are the notes available and i clearly uh, I, i remember i replied you are the whatever you say is the notes available because every interpretation every sutra if you read it again you get a different perspective so patanjali yoga sutra is like a ocean every time you dip inside the ocean you see something else to see and that is the beauty of patanjali yoga sutra so without taking much time i request ashit ji to please start your session you are on spotlight thank you thank you thank you very much kanasham ji good evening to everyone and welcome to this session <clears throat> so the topic is ashtanga yoga <clears throat> as a therapy i believe you are all yoga students aspiring yoga teachers consultants therapists so you might be aware of who patanjali was he was a sage who 2000 year, years ago about 2000 years ago compiled the entire knowledge of yoga available till that date and put it in 195 aphorisms that body is known as the yoga darshan it is one of the it is the shiromani uh, darshan of the six darshans which came out of the vedas sankhya nyaya vaisheshika purva mimamsa uttar mimamsa and yoga and these are all darshans it is yoga darshan not to be confused with philosophy it darshan is sakshatkar these uh, <clears throat> these bodies <laughs> these knowledge banks they are going to give you realization what kind of sakshatkar what kind of realization self realization every one of us is plagued with this question at some time or other in our lives ki who am i from where do i come where am i going what is the purpose of my life what will happen to me after i die now all these questions so all these questions do not remain when the realization happens so that is why these are called darshans and <clears throat> yoga darshan is the pinnacle because very very knowledgeable people have said that if gita is the theoretical aspect of uh, brahma vidya then patanjali yoga darshan is the practical aspect <clears throat> now any science is complete when these two come together in school we used to learn physics so theory in the classroom and then we used to go to the lab to put it into practice so if you want to put gita into practice uh, you cannot dispense with the yoga sutras because yoga sutras is like a manual it is a work manual we'll see how 
So the topic is the topic which you have for your syllabus is Ashtanga Yoga as a therapy. So <clears throat> first let us see what therapy for whom? Therapy for whom? Therapy for you? Is it therapy for you? Then, then what part of you? Is it therapy for your body? Is it therapy for your mind? Is it a therapy for your ego? Is it a therapy for your intellect? It, is, is it a therapy for the potentialities of your indriyas? What is it for? Or is it a therapy for your chitta, which is a conglomerate? Your chitta is a conglomerate. It is also known as Sukshma Sharir in Vedanta. It includes <clears throat> this 18 ingredients attached to your soul. Your soul, your Sukshma Sharir travels with them. That include your buddhi, then your ego, your mind, the five potentialities of your sensory organs the five potentialities of your organs of action and the five potentialities of the panchaprana. So what this therapy is for whom, for what? So it is for all of this. So this therapy is for your Annamai Kosh, your Pranamai Kosh, your Manomai Kosh, your Vajnanamai Kosh. And it will reveal your Ananda Makosh to you. <clears throat> now, what is Ashtanga? It is Ashtanga Yoga as a therapy. Eight limbs came out of the body yogic when Patanjali sat to compile the knowledge. When he began to systematize the knowledge of yoga, the sutra started flowing. And those sutras, the body of the body, that is the body yogic. And out of them came out eight limbs. And that is the ashtanga, eight limbs of body yogi. Sutras are always very succinct. The, the sutra of sutra is alpaksharam asandigdam, saravata vishvato mukham astobhanam, anavadyam cha sutram sutra vidu vidu. That is how a sutra is. Alpaksharam. It con consists minimal letters. I mean, you cannot change one alphabet. It is of the shortest possible alphabets are used in that sutra. It is very concise. Means it represents the topic. There is no doubt about what it is talking about. You can say, say that it is the title of that subject. And the title is absolutely succinct and clear. Asandigda, there's no doubt about it. Saravata, it is the essence of that subject. Vishvato Mukha. You know, there is a gavaksha, a small door. When you go through that door and suddenly a huge palace is revealed to you. So it is like that. A sutra is a small door. But when you enter the sutra, the whole Vishwa is revealed to you. The subject matter of that sutra. Astobhanam. There is no rhetoric in sutras. Most of the time, we talk in rhetorics, you know. There is no rhetoric in sutras. And anavadyam So there, there is no fallacy as well. So, Patanjal Yoga Sutra is a fascinating body of work and we are going to study it in your course. Therapy, as I said, it is for Vyashti as well as Samashti. What is Samashti? Samashti is that which is around you, your fellow human beings the nature around you. 
So therapy, not only for you as a Vashti, as an individual, but it is a therapy <clears throat> for the society, for nations, for religions, for the entire planet, for nature. Understand this. And that is why the very first limb that came out was Yama. Yama. I'll ask you five simple questions, okay? You have to answer in yes or no. So, <clears throat> I know the answers. Would you like it if someone hurts you, whether physically, mentally, or verbally? Would you like that? No. No. Would you? Yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you like if someone is untruthful to you? Someone lies to you, and you believe that person, and he is lying to you. Would you like that? No. Would you like if someone steals from you? Maybe it could be uh, material or even your ideas. Somebody steals from you. Do you like that? No. Would you like anyone squandering nature, you know, ruining nature? <clears throat> that is what is happening. Abusing nature. This climate change and the, these rains and all this is what? You know, recently I heard a person, a speaker, and he said he made an amazing statement and I just loved it. He said that never, he was talking about this climate change. And he said that never underestimate the stupidity of man. I really like that statement. So would you like someone abusing nature? No. No? Would you like someone holding things? You know, people hold things which are meant for the proletariat. And when you hold things, when someone holds things, it is something like stealing because it is then unavailable for the populace. Would you like that? Someone holding things? No. No. So all your, your answers to all these five questions was no. So you also don't do it. Do you do it? Do you hold? Hmm? Do you hold then what is what you need, do you hold more than what you need? Ahimsa, Satya, Ste, Brahmacharya, Aparigraha, Yamaha. These are the five tenets. Social discipline is talking about social discipline. You are living in a society. It is your responsibility as a member of the society. To practice ahimsa. If you expect ahimsa from others, you have to practice ahimsa yourself. If you expect satya from others, you have to practice satya yourself. If you expect non-stealing from others, you have to practice it yourself. If you expect brahmacharya, now here I will clarify, brahma is everything that is around you. And Charyam is Brahmanusara Acharana. So Brahmacharya starts with taking care of Mother Nature. Brahmacharya as celibacy comes at a very advanced stage. When you walk the path of yoga, there comes a time when you are in that Anandamaya, when you are when you are in 
Sananda Samadhi, which is a stage of stage in Sampradnyat Samadhi, Vitarka Vichar Ananda and Asmita. There are four stages of Samadhi. When you are in that Ananda Samadhi, this celibacy automatically happens. You cannot enforce it. So here we'll take the meaning of Brahmacharya as taking care of Mother Nature. So you expect others to not to abuse nature. Are you doing so? What are you doing to take care of this Brahma around you? You have to answer yourself. If you expect that people should not hoard, then you too should not. So this is your relationship with the world. Yama, your yoga has begun. If you ask somebody, there is, there is this huge misconception about yoga. Huge mammoth. If you ask somebody, do you, do, do you practice yoga? He says, oh, I used to do yoga two years back, you know. Are you not, are you not practicing yamas? Are you not in yamas? You're already every human being, every living human being is on the path of yoga. He's just not aware of it. Because yama, ahimsa, satya, asteya, brahmacharya, aparigra, your yoga has begun. See, that is the first limb of yoga which came out. Then the second limb followed, that was Niyama. So the highest he responsible, highest is your responsibility towards the society. Patanjali took up that first. And then, then he said, then the second limb, limb automatically followed Niyama, self-discipline. Because if you have to be disciplined out there, you have to be disciplined in here as well. Now, again, I'll ask you five questions. Again, you have to answer in yes or no. <clears throat> Would you like to keep your body and mind clean always? Yes. So for keeping the body clean, you take bath, right? But your mind becomes more dirty, it gets more dirty than the body. What do you do to wash your mind? You take your car to the car wash. Where do you take your mind to get washed? Do you even think about it? Shauj, the first tenet of Niyama. The second is, second question I'm asking you now. Would you like to be content? Right? The third question I'm asking you. Would you like to be disciplined and orderly? Yes. The fourth question. Would you like to introspect and retrospect? Increase the bank of your knowledge in order to progress on the path of your. Yes. The fifth last question. Would you like to have a powerful guiding principle in which you believe, which guides you through all the situations of your life? Would you like to have such a powerful principle in you? Okay, do it. Who's stopping you? Shaucha Santosha Tapaha Swadhyaya Ishwar Pranidhanani Niyama. Leo Tolstoy. Have you heard his name? Leo Tolstoy. He was a great author. He once said, If you want to be happy, be. <laughs> oh.
Who is stopping you? So Yama tells us how your relationship should be with this Brahma around you, this society around you, these fellow beings around you. Yes, sab chara, achara, jo bhi hai tumare, ird gird, uske saath, tumara rishta, kaise hona chahiye, bhaiya, yog shuru ho chuka hai. And then, what should be the, how should be your relationship with yourself? Shaucha, santosha, are you content? Are you content on as is, where is basis? See, the therapy has begun. Are you content in as is, where is basis? Or there is always an undercurrent flowing beneath the level of your awareness of your unfulfilled desires and wants and anxieties and regrets. You can be content only in the present moment. But psychology tells us that 47, listen to this. Psychology tells us that 47% of your waking time, you're not thinking of what is going on. Your mental lives are pervaded by that which is not present. Do you understand? These are the vritti. We are going to study this. These are the vrittis. They take you in all directions. There are five vrittis. And you are roaming through them. Like, and you are lost in that jungle. Then he comes to asana. Asan, then came out the asan, the third limb. The first limb, yama came out. Then the second limb, niyam came out. And then for a common man like me, ye dono mein gad bada hai. So then Patanjali thought, no, now this requires huge correction. Massive correction at a very deeper level. So came out the third limb of asana. Then came the, then the fourth pranaya. Then the fifth pratyahara. And when pratyahara appeared, suddenly, an inner door opened. And that is why these first five are called Bahiranga Sadhana. And the later three, which came out, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. They are known as Antaranga Sadhana. Unless there is Bahiranga Sadhana, the door of Antaranga Sadhana does not open. Some door may open, but it will, it will not take you to the Laksha because it is not the door of the Sanctum Sanctorum. For the door of the sanctum sanctorum to open, the bahiranga has to be in place. Because here the matter is of Swarupa Sakshatkar. Because when that happens, it will be wisdom. It is true wisdom. So coming back to asan, out of the 195 sutras, only three sutras are on asan. And five sutras are on pranayam. So three plus five, eight. So this trillion dollar industry, yoga industry in the world is based on 
these eight sutras and nobody bothers what the remaining 180 sutras, 87 sutras are about. So we are going to take a techo in all this. You know, the, the, the yoga darshan be, begins with the sutra Atha Yoga Anushasanam. Now. Atha means now. Now this now also has very different flexions. How, when, when do we use now? Now as in now, 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 now. I want now, now. Now as in immediacy. There is immediacy in now. Right? The second now is a little futuristic. Ki, uh, bete ne abhi 10 ka exam pass kar liya hai. Ha, beta, congratulations. Okay, now what you plan to do? So that is the second now. Right? Now what you plan to do? And the third now? Which is the third now? Sab kuch try kar liya. Is guru ke paas gaya, us guru ke paas gaya. Ye, ye jo self-help book rehte na. Ye book padha, wo book padha. Aray, uska book achcha hai, ka hai, naya aya hai. Wo padha. Ye guru ke paas mandiro mein gaya. Mannate maangi. Lekin yaar, suffering jai nahi raha, yaar. Ye jo trivid taap hai. Adhi, Devik, Adhi, Bhautik, Adhyadmik, Chutkara, Nahi mil ra, yaar, now. Now come on the path of you. So all these three nows are applicable. Immediacy, now. Now what should I do? Refer the Yoga Sutras. They will give you an answer. Now, what should be the future, future course? Walk the path of Yoga Sutras. They will give you answers. And now, I want to get rid of the suffering. Heyam Dukkham Managatam. Come to the Sutras. They will give you the answer. So the first, the very first sutra, the very first word, Atha, Atha, Yoga, Anushasana. Now what is the meaning of Anushasana? Anushasana means a regimen. Anu means to follow. The Shasan is already there. But you have to Anu it now, you have to follow it now. So now you have come under the umbrella of yoga. Now you have become a yoga sadhak. See, this is very important. Huh, you know, I was doing yoga for the in the last last year. Oh my God, I benefited so much. Now New Year resolution. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Weight loss. First of January. Yoga. That is not Anushasanam. That is not being under the umbrella. Shasan. Now the military army has Shasan, right? So a person becomes a colonel. Once he becomes a colonel, he's a colonel for life. It's not that he is a colonel in this month, next month he will not be a colonel. Next year, two years later, he will not be a no, once a colonel, always a colonel. So, Atha Yoga Anushasanam, if you utter that sutra, Atha Yoga Anushasanam, you are committed. So, do you have that commitment? Then he says, in the next sutra is, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha. Chitta Ki Vrittiyon Ka Nirodha Karna is you to stop the modifications and modulations that are happening every second, every single moment. To 
to stop. Now, in other words, to get absolute control over the content and the workings of your mind, to get total control over the function and the vagaries of your mind. That is yoga. That is yoga. Yoga chitta vritti nirodha. Then you will naturally ask Patanjali, oh, I see. Then what happens? So he says, tada drashtu svarupe avasthanam. Then, if you are able to do that nirod, then drashtu means you, your true swarup. Your true swarup will be revealed to you. Oh, so then it means that it is not revealed to me now. I don't know my swarup. He says, no, vritti sarupya mitaratra. He says, no, you don't know your true swarup because you are identifying yourself with the vrittis. Unless you stop that, your swarup will not be revealed to you ever. What are these vrittis? There are five vrittis, he says. And those vrittis can either take you towards suffering or towards liberation. Vrittayaha, panchatayaha, klishta, aklishta. Klishta means they will increase your suffering and keep you bound in this cycle of birth and death. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi janani jathare shayanam. Bhajagovindam, Shankaracharya. Or they will liberate you. They will take you towards Kaivalya. So, Atha Yoga Anushasanam, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha, Tadadrashtu Surupe Vasthanam, Vritti Sarupam Mitratra. If you understand these four sutras, then you will understand the whole yoga. So if these klishta vrittiyas take me towards suffering and a klishta take me towards emancipation, where do these klishta come from? Where do they come? And he says, they come from the kleshas. What are those? They are your belief systems. What is a belief system? Your belief system is that place from your from where your thoughts arise. Through the course of the day, sixty thousand thoughts pass through your mind. From where do they come? Hmm? From where do they come? They come, they sprout from your core belief system. And thoughts give rise to emotions. Emotions don't come first. There is always a thought process behind the emotion. And then the emotion manifests, manifests and then you act. The word emotion has got motion in it. Emotion prompts you to act. When you act, you have to face consequences. Parinam, karma ka phal, phal to chipak nahi hai tumko, or tumko khana hi padega. So if you don't like the consequences of your life, it means that there was some self-defeating action behind it. So if there was a self-defeating action, which means there was a dysfunctional emotion behind it. If there was a dysfunctional emotion behind it, it means that there was a dysfunctional thought process behind it, which means that the belief that you're holding is irrational. 
अविद्याग्रस्त सो अविद्या अस्मिता राग द्वेष अभिनिवेश आर द फाइव क्लेश विच आर एम्बेडेड इन युअर बुद्धि एम्बेडेड एंड ऑल युअर थॉट्स आईज फ्रॉम देर सो अनलेस देर इज अ चेंज एट द रूट at the root where that avidya begins to weaken and vidya begins to become strong then your thoughts change then your emotions change then your action change and then the parinam the fruits the consequences change so the yoga darshan begins with the vrittis then he explains in in the kleshas that war from where the vrittis come so you have to weaken the kleshas and then he begins ashtanga yoga sadhana That is why it comes in Sadhan Path. So it is a fascinating body of work, and you will enjoy this journey, which we will travel together. Okay. i think this much uh, uh yeah thank you thank thank you ashish ji if uh, any part we have 5 minutes for question answer if any for person has any question feel free to ask before we end up the meeting okay ashish ji it seems all clear okay <laughs> thank you all thank right. you for so, a wonderful okay. sessions uh, again once again i say ki we have this uh, patanjali yoga sutra as a therapy it's a it's a course with, with going depth into the patanjali so if anyone is interested uh, please contact arita or julie both the numbers are uh i have posted on the group there is a one question ashish ji from dr rashmi uh, how can i do karma yoga in daily life kriya yeah, she is asking what kriya yoga now the sutra okay. of you kriya yoga is tapah swadhyaya ishwar pranidhanani kriya yoga now when you start when you study the body of the sutras you will come across the yamas first so what are the yamas ahimsa satya asteya brahmacharya aparigraha then niyamas शौच सतोष तप स्वाध्याय ईश्वर परिधान सो द लास्ट थ्री ऑफ द नियमाज ही टूक देम आउट बिकॉज दे आर क्रियाज एंड द प्रीवियस फाइव यमाज एंड द फर्स्ट टू नियमाज आर द धर्म ऑफ चित्त विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड क्रिया योग इन डेप्थ सो बाय प्रैक्टिसिंग दोज थ्री the chitta will start changing the dharma do you understand see for example you, you cannot tell a violent man to be non violent you just can't say are now you are a yogi so you are practicing ahimsa you are supposed to practice ahimsa so become non violent it's not possible but if he practices kriya yoga tapaswadhyay ishwar pranidhan non violence will burgeon in his heart if someone is not honest you just can't just say are baba practice satya be honest honesty is good it doesn't work that way but if you keep on kriya yoga honesty be honesty will be born in his heart do you understand that is the power of kriya yoga we will understand i i will not i am not able to answer that question that how should i practice kriya yoga in my day to day life 
But when we go through the course, when you understand what Kriya Yoga really is for, what is the purpose of Kriya Yoga, then you will find your answer. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, ah, so this friends, question will... from uh, Kavita, what to do if one thought is coming again? All this we will address in the course. These are these are the you know these are the issues which every one of us faces daily, every day, day in day out. Ratrandina ama yuddhasa prasanga antar bahya jaga ani mana. Tukaram Maharaj said, "He day and night, Miruku, this battle I have to I have to fight outside with the world and inside with my mind." So a saint like Tukaram is saying this, so we are the common people. So we will try to address all these things. Okay. So, excuse me, sir. If yeah. we have only uh, Yoga Sutra class, or if I wanted to do only Yoga Sutra course, then... <laughs> I, I uh, Kabita ji, please contact me. I will tell you. Yeah. Uh, yes, answer. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Thank yes. you. Thank All you, right. everyone. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Ashish yeah. ji. Yeah. Huh? We yeah, will meet you. on Mon Monday, 7.30 class. There is no class tomorrow. We will meet on Monday. Okay, good night. Om Namah Shivai. Thank you so much.